Hello, welcome to handsonerp.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to install Oracle applications or Oracle eBusiness Suite Release 12 on Windows, Vista, or any other operating system. Two main barriers in learning ERP are number one, practice box is not available easily. Number two, the training is very expensive. So I'm trying to remove these barriers from a learning path so that anybody should be able to learn ERP from scratch, from A to Z, okay? So let's talk about the strategy first. That's what I'm gonna do in this tutorial. I'm gonna talk about the strategy of installing Release 12 on Windows Vista or any other operating system. People who have a little bit technical background, they can just take this tutorial, now, then they will know the strategy and you can take it from there yourself but if you don't have technical expertise you can take subsequent tutorials as well where I'm going to show you in a step-by-step -step manner how to install release 12 okay and just follow my instructions to the core and you will have release 12 up and running on your computer in your home okay so a strategy first this box here is representing your computer the hardware okay the PC personal computer when you turn on the computer what happens the first thing that wakes up is the operating system okay so within the computer you have your operating system okay so I'm gonna assume you have a Vista machine throughout this tutorial and throughout subsequent tutorials because Vista is the most popular operating system running uh, available in the market and you can easily go and get a computer with Vista at reasonable price I highly recommend that if you are serious in learning Oracle just invest on a computer okay just I'm gonna give you specs don't uh, spend too much money just get a reasonable computer with minimum specs so that you can have uh, Oracle applications running uh, on your personal computer now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a virtual machine within the Vista. So on top of Vista you will have a virtual machine software running. So what is virtual machine? Virtual machine is a software that emulates as a machine, as a hardware. Okay. <coughs> now there are a couple of vendors out there so I'm going to talk in detail uh, in, in, in a step by step manner of what, which vendor I prefer and uh, how, how to install virtual machine. So why are we installing virtual machine first of all? The problem is that Oracle Applications Release 12 is not compatible with Windows Vista. It's not going to run on Vista, okay? Uh, so that's a problem. So what is the solution? The solution is you install Oracle Applications on, on an operating system that is compatible. Two most popular operating systems that are, that, that are compatible includes <coughs> Windows uh, Server. 2003 server and the next version but but it's very expensive operating system okay unless uh, you really want to uh, spend that money I, I really advise don't go for uh, you know copied software it's not good you know in order to make your career there's no point stealing software okay so just don't go for the route where you install a copied or pirated version of Windows 2003 of server or the next version if you can do something the right way just do it the right way okay uh, there's no point going the wrong way so what we're gonna do is <coughs> we're going to go with the operating system that is free and yet that is compatible with uh, release 12 of Oracle ERP <coughs> excuse me so having said that we're gonna go with Linux operating system so we're gonna install virtual machine on top of Vista and within the virtual machine we're gonna install Linux operating system we're gonna go with Oracle's Linux okay because that works very well with uh, eBusiness Suite software so once we have Oracle Linux up and running on the virtual machine we're gonna install Oracle ERP on top of Oracle Linux okay so this is the strategy now if you're technical you can do all these steps yourself but you are gonna hit bumps on the road I'm telling you so what you can do is I have done this several times I have basically streamlined the whole process just follow my next tutorials I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step manner 
how to do all these steps okay so at the end of the day we would have Oracle server running on this virtual machine okay now in in uh, real life we we basically call server uh, server basically is uh, the whole machine all right usually server is is a name that could be used for a, a program that is running on your operating system as well as uh, the whole box okay so this virtual machine is representing the hardware uh, 